Ayo, hey, what's up, you guys? So right off the bat, happy May the Fourth. Uh, and there's like actually there's some other things. I mean, there's these National Firefighters Day, so I will say you know salute to all of our fire firefighters. Uh, but obviously, as respectable as that is, you know this video is going to be more about the Star Wars thing. But I do not, you know, this sounds really bad. Uh, uh, I'm going to salute to all my firefighters, and then, so happy National Firefighters Day to them, and for the rest of us, other than that, happy May the 4th be with you, so, may the 4th be with you, uh, so, today I do have a Star Wars Black Series review, because I went out to the treachery of going to the dangerous jungle of Walmart, so, uh, we have a very special one, and it's really cool because I went to the store. I wasn't expecting much. I was kind of hoping to see a Winter Soldier <laughs> from Marvel Legends or uh, or Commander Bly from Star Wars Black Series. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if like any of my parentals are watching this. I am going to get to work soon, but yeah, so I will. After this video, I'm going to get to work, but uh, so... I went to the Star Wars Black Series section. They actually had some of the new wave that Commander Blood and Count Dooku was a part of. It was Zori Bliss and the Sith Jet Trooper. Now, yeah, I wanted both of those figures, but above it were the 40th anniversary line of the uh, Empire Strikes Back. And I was like, hmm. They did have Luke Skywalker, and I would say I, would, I am very tempted to get that one because it does look really good. But honestly, I'm mainly going to go after the Han Solo and Princess Leia uh, after this. But, the figure I have today, as you can tell by the title, is Star Wars The Black Series 40th Anniversary Line. AT, AT, oh, wait. Star Wars The Black Series 40th Anniversary Line of The Empire Strikes Back AT, AT Driver. Or at, at. I call it both. I don't really differentiate they're both the same thing so and yes i actually did uh i did try my best to not destroy the box and i actually did somewhat decent of a job i am keeping this box because i know how special this is uh because this is the old style that's what makes it so special so the box i guess we'll go over has the 40th anniversary up there star wars empire strikes back got a picture of the character this uh at, -AT driver has got the yellow background for where the figure would have been I already took it out, so on the back, there's other figures that are in the wave, and I'm definitely going to get Leia Organa and Han Solo, uh, and hopefully Luke Skywalker. Well, maybe Luke Skywalker, that's a debatable one. And there's no uh, description of the character, I mean, other than comm commemorate the 40th anniversary of Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back with figures from the Black Series, featuring classic design and packaging. As you can see, there's also Kenner. So, yeah. There we go. Um, I will say real quick that there were some Star Wars reveals before I show off the bring the figure out here. There is a clone trooper that I actually originally thought was like a 3.75 inch, but is the Camino Guard, and I really am surprised but really happy that they're doing that. I hope they release and maybe like the archive line or maybe just the regular line. Uh, some variants of different clone troopers because there are many many different variants and many cool variants like the Kashyyyk scout trooper uh, so and They are doing a new stormtrooper with single jointed elbows Which to be honest the double jointed elbow stormtrooper basically only gets the range of a single jointed elbow So makes sense. It looks really nice And then they're doing a Luke training on Dagobah with uh, Yoda What else did they announce? Oh, they announced the cardi carded versions of 4LOM and Zuckus even having the name switched around like they originally did for the mistake. Uh, what else? What else was announced? Shush. Oh, that was my cat. Uh -huh. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. I do know that in the second wave of this, there is the TIE Fighter Pilot, which I'm going to get, and a Rebel Trooper. There's some other figures in there. There is, I think there's also a Luke Skywalker who is a pilot, like a, um, a snowspeeder pilot, so there's that. 
But yeah, I do hope to get that uh, TIE Fighter pilot. So, here is the figure. Uh, I mean, it's nothing, nothing much. This is a reissue, in case you're wondering. It's not a brand new figure, but it is a new figure for me. So, first of all, we'll go off with this one accessory, and that is the E11 blaster. I actually remember that because this is just the most common blaster in the Stormtrooper. Uh, well, just in the Empire in general. So, nothing much. Same old blaster. It's got a little bit of silver paint, but uh, he really can't hold it in two hands because of the box. But... I, like I had him in this pose, I think he just looks good with it holding one arm. I mean, you can kind of get it in a two-arm pose, but it doesn't look that good. You see what I mean? Like, it's definitely going to have the figure, the, hand, the trigger finger out of the trigger. So, I'll just have that out for now, and we'll straighten this guy out. I'm going to have to figure out how to... Pose them later, but yeah. And by the way, I do note that the Clone Wars last episode aired. I'm not going to spoil anything in case you haven't seen it yet. But I did get a little emotional over it because that is a show I grew up with. So, so there we go. So there is the AT-AT -AT pilot. Uh, yeah, so... I do believe this is basically the same figure as the TIE Fighter pilot, except it's all in black. I may be wrong. I don't know if the TIE Fighter pilot has these shoulder pads, but then again, it would be kind of dumb if it didn't. I don't know. I think I think it's all the same mold, but I'm going to review it anyways. You can't stop me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, start off with the helmet. Uh, it's really nice. It's just like a TIE... TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet, it's all in white, it's got the hoses coming down to this little box, which has extra good detail on there, even all the little red dots, and black, silver side, you got the hose entry point, and on the side you got another hose entry point, and you actually look at the back of the helmet, they do have some console down here, which I don't know what it is for, but it's got some hoses, where the hoses come from on the helmet, and it's got uh, this little thing here i imagine this might be like an oxygen thing but i don't know uh if it was a tie fire pilot i think it might be an oxygen thing but um the helmet it's got all these black markings coming on the side on the the little arc that's on his helmet it's got the red imperial markings it's really cool and painted nicely got the usual kind of mouth looking thing of the thing you got the eye holes even got some silver up there, you can't really see it, but yeah. I do believe, unless there, it's supposed to be there, I have a red paint mark on the mouth part, which has kind of bothered me, but you only see it when you're real up close. So, if you're back here, you're not going to see it. But if you're like here, you're going to see it, as you can. But I camera focus on my phone, it's not the best. Uh, so, it also comes, he also has these little straps that come down. He's got all these wrinkles all over him, and they come down to the legs. They go down about that far, um, and they, they, they go up pretty well, so it doesn't get in the way of articulation, which is awesome. Uh, the uh, I will say real quick, there will not be a comparison because I have no other Star Wars figures here. If I were to compare him to anybody, though, it would honestly be the ATACT pilot driver because that's the closest thing I have. And that's just basically a bigger, more of a troop transport version of the at, -AT. So, uh, he's got these sculpted shoulder pads, uh, which don't really, they, they kind of get in the way of articulation, but we're not going to see articulation. He's got sculpt there, all these great wrinkles and kind of pocket looking things, got sculpted gloves on top. Um, go down the legs, all the different sculpts and wrinkles on the back. Got nice boots. Got even like sculpted treads along the sides. Uh, I'm surprised it does not have boot articulation. It does not have boot articulation. I wonder if the original one does. But they didn't change anything. Like this is just a reissue. So yeah. So I guess since I mentioned a bunch of things about articulation, might as well. So 
his head can move up just that much. It can move down that much. It can look side to side. Uh, the hoses might get in the way a little bit. You might want to also pay attention that you're not like bending the hoses. Uh, he's got a little bit of tilt. Uh, his arms, uh, wait, like I think actually they, these can go over a bit. Can go up only that far. Honestly, this doesn't help much. Um, he's got a single joint elbow that only go, bends in about 90 degrees. He's got a trigger finger that goes in and out. Well, I wish it was up and down, but honestly, I don't really care. You know, uh, it swivels. The other one also goes in and out, obviously. So, hey, they both have trigger fingers. Interesting. He's got a diaphragm joint. He can crunch down about not even that much. You can't even see it. He can crunch back, though, a lot. <laughs> Looks like me when I get up in the morning. Um, I don't know if you really need to know that. But, yeah. Uh, he tilts side to side. His legs can kick out that much. These do get in the way a bit, but I don't think he could even go up that much anyways. He can kick all the way up. As you can see, it can move up. Kick that far back. Got an upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. No boot articulation. The ankle moves down. Moves up. It's got ankle pivot. So... I mean, you could just have him pose like this, I guess. Hold on. So, I mean, you could have him pose like that. But since, I mean, he won't be really running out, uh, you know, and going out into battle unless, like, you know, he's able to escape his at, -AT before it falls down. But... Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that they gave him the blaster. If anything, I would have liked, like, I don't know, maybe a, uh, hollow projector, uh, because there is, I do believe there's a, is there a scene where they're walking in the at, -AT and there's like, I think there's Veers, there's like Admiral Veers, uh, or Gen Commander Veers, or something like that, and there's a hollow projector that comes up with Darth Vader. Is that a thing? Am I making stuff up? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm going nuts. Uh, <laughs> I really shouldn't be joking about that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So, I do plan to get Han Solo and Leia Organa. And if it does come down to it, I will get Luke Skywalker. Uh, the only figure I am sure I will not get in this wave is literally just another reissue of Yoda. So, uh, the archive line is getting its... Um, it's another wave. This was, they said that the reason why there wasn't really no archive line recently is because this was supposed to kind of take place of that. Uh, because there are a bunch of reissues, re but I'm guessing Commander Cody will be in that line, and I'm super excited if that is true. Uh, and I'm willing to bet that the episode three, shh, episode three Anakin would also, not Anakin, Obi-Wan would be in there too. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, that's really it. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a toy hunt soon. I haven't actually done a toy hunt video in a while. Shh. That is my cat. I do apologize. I am in my living room doing this. Well, technically in my kitchen. But not really. Uh, but yeah, so... I do hope to see uh, those two figures in there for sure. Maybe they'll do, like, I don't know what other figures they could really do. I know they're re-release, I know they're doing a carbonized Boba Fett, and I really want that, because I just, I just need a Boba Fett in general, and if it has a little extra something that makes them look a little cooler, I don't mind. And I do know there's a carbonized Vader coming out, but one, it doesn't really look that appealing to me. And two, I don't need another Vader. I already have Vader. So, and that Vader is awesome. And you look, this guy will definitely make a great addition to my uh, collection. And I, 
Uh, I do also have a... I did get a Lego set yesterday, too. So that was... <laughs> I haven't done a Lego set in a while, and it was a uh, A-Wing. The Lego A-Wing. So, anyways, I go, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell if you want to. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like that system's not really working too well. But hit that bell if you want to. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one, which hopefully will be either Star Wars Black Series or Marvel Legends. Or maybe it even will be DC McFarlane Multiverse, considering that there are new figures that are supposed to come out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.